Hey, what's up guys? This is G Smith and welcome back to episode 3 of my my player series. Gino has been absolutely dominating in double A. Um hitting with power and with contact, mostly contact though. Um getting a lot of singles, doubles, and I'm getting that average up. His average is over 400, which is amazing. He only has one home run over the season, so hopefully we can raise that power up soon uh to get him hitting home runs here and yeah, yeah, his average is over 400. Um, I think he should go to the big league soon. It is the beginning of August, so I mean, hopefully the big league ball club will call him up soon, at least the AAA. Hopefully the majors, but I am in the Boston Red Sox organization, so they do have uh, former MVP Dustin Pedroia, which will be kind of hard to take his spot. So I don't know if I should either change positions, look for a trade, or do something, because I don't think, if I want to stay in the Red Sox organization, I'm going to compete with Dustin Pedroia. So, yeah, um, he's a great player. And um, I'm thinking I might switch to shortstop or third base, because I, I want to bring Boston Red Sox to championship. Uh, I think they've been down on their walk a little over the years. Last year they had that breakdown in the last month of the season so that was just terrible and I kind of felt bad for them there and that's when the Tampa Bay Rays got in the playoffs but they did lose to the Texas Rangers which we all know uh, lost to the Cardinals in the World Series so I do want to stay in the organization maybe as a shortstop or a baseman so yeah hopefully you can look forward to that and here is just me getting a lot of singles doubles and I think I did, I, I have one home run, and I, I want to get that up, so I'm going to try to raise my power, I'm getting a lot of, I think my average is 440, around there, so I mean, my average is good, I just want to get some power, get some, I want to be a power hitter in, that, in the in MLB, <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to focus on getting my skill points to raise that up, as you see here, I go from first to home on a hit and run, Showing off my wheels that I don't have yet. And one of the goals of getting caught up to the major leagues, and the only one I don't have, is stealing 10 bases. So, I don't know. It, I mean, I think you should be caught up anyway. Because, I mean, he has like, they're really easy goals to get. And the only one he doesn't have is steal 10 bases. So, it's really annoying. And my overall is like 70 on Gino, because I played it, I haven't simulated a game yet, so, I mean, that's why I'm getting a lot of skill points, a lot of RBIs, and I do have a 40 game hit streak, so all the skill points are getting doubled, and that helps a lot of getting your overall and your contact and power out, so, yeah, and like I said, it's the beginning of August, so I have played a lot of games since we, since episode 2, and... Regardless, this is my first home run, or my first professional home run. I got 200 skill points for that, and that felt good to get that home run out of the way. It just sounded nice right off the bat, but yeah, um, got a lot of skill points, and I have a 40 game head streak right now, which is amazing, and especially because I get double skill points, which helps a lot getting my overall and getting the next step to the major leagues. And, um, here we go. Driving, or going to drive in a couple rounds after getting a good eye. And that's something I'm trying to work on in franchise mode and in my player. Um, waiting for your pitch to hit. Don't be swinging at bad balls. And here we go. Getting an RBI single into right field. He's going to be getting a lot of those lately until he raises that power number up and gets more home runs and gets more doubles. But for now, he's hitting a lot of contact. Which is good. I'm not complaining because I'm hitting 440. I'm just wanting to get some more power. And here's he's going to hit one in the gap. And he's thinking two. And he accidentally dives to first. <laughs> kind of surprising there. I, I, I think it was like, I wasn't really paying attention. I, I was playing most of these at like 1 in the morning. So it's like sometimes you'll see things that are just like, what? Did, did he just swing at that? And did he just dive to first on a, what could have been a double? So, yeah. Um, yeah, here. Hits a curveball right up the middle. You, like, like I said for the hundredth time, 
if I had some more power, maybe I could have taken that farther into the extra bases, because you get a lot of skill points for hitting doubles and triples, especially, I think you get 100 skill points when it says get an extra base hit, and you do. So, I'm just looking at, and, like, moving up my skill points, and my overall is 70, so, yeah, I'm going to have a, I think I'm going to have a good, I think Gina's going to have a good year in the majors. Because I have played every game with him. I haven't simmed any. So his overall is 70, 71. Before going into the majors. Which is the major change. And he already gets a good read off the pitcher. Gets down. And seals second base. Which is one of his goals. He needs to seal 10 of those. To get his call up goals. So here we go. Yeah, Actually he's hitting 455. 454? Or. I don't know. He's hitting up there. So. He is getting a lot of contact, and that's almost, I think his on-base percentage is almost 500, so that's like one every two at-bats he's getting on base. Majority of the time he's getting a hit. That is crazy. Like, that is insane. I do play an all-star difficulty. I will change it to legendary later, but I kind of like to have fun with my player, you know what I mean? I don't want to, like, like, I want to challenge myself, but not, like, too much where I can't get a hit. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, and here it credits me with a single. Should have been an error on the shortstop, fielder's choice. But I'll take it. And here, some gold glove defense. Not really, just a regular play and a bad throw, but luckily the computer saves me there. Surprisingly, getting a good throw, which doesn't really happen much. If you get in the red, nine times out of ten, you are going to have an error. And watch out from the pitcher, that little line driver right up the middle. But yeah, I am. Um, He's doing good. He's dominating in double A. Pitchers are scared of him. I'm actually being a lot of walks with my decent eye. I'm getting it better. And um, I like getting achievements. And there's the achievement of getting like 273 walks. I, If I get that number right, I'm going to be extremely happy. But it's around there. And I'm going to try to get that in my franchise mode, which is coming up soon. Hopefully, I get part two of that opening day up. I don't know, soon. So, yeah. And, yeah, here we go with the double down the line. He's getting his speed up. I don't know what his speed is, but it's I think it's 65. And that's pretty slow. So, I'm going to try to get that up there. And it's really hard to get base running points. So, every time I'm on base, I'm looking to, when the coach gives me a hit and run, to go from first to third, or even first to home, and steal bases, to get that base running up, so I can become a faster, because I want to steal, I want to be a 30-30, 40-40 guy, for whatever organization I'm from, because I don't, I'm not sure if I'm going to be with the Red Sox organization with Dustin Pedroia, so, uh, I don't know. So I want to be that 40-40 guy, 40 home runs, 40 stolen bases, if you didn't know who that, what 40-40 meant. And here we go. Into the gap. Not really. But he does get a single. And he's going to stretch it to two. And I'm pretty sure that was an error. I, I'm not sure if they credit... No, they didn't credit me with the double. But he does get the second. And yeah. Here he gets a line drive to left field. And most of my balls go in the left center field. So I need to wait on the ball a little more. I'm still getting hits. But yeah. And, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's me spending some skill points earlier in my career. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for episode 4.